God enlarge my territory. I'm just revising the two subtopics from no sorry last week. God is willingly and ready to shower you with plenty things. Protection, provision, and prosperity. God is ready according to his word. God is handing over the land, the territory, the authority, the blessing, and the abundance. He's handing over to human beings, to mankind, to Adam and Eve. And we are the descendants of Adam and Eve. So God's promises in Genesis chapter 1, verse 28, right up to 30. And I believe that God will bless you too this wonderful morning. So when we talk about the blessings of God, in Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 and 8, the Bible says, and the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppressor of my people who is in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. See, God knows your sorrows. God knows your mountain. God knows what you're going through. God knows. My friend, we are so blessed that God sees everything that you're going through. Maybe you don't go to church. You are having your breakfast at home and you are sitting with your family at home or you are sitting alone. Or maybe you as a couple that you are watching this program. Do you know that God wants to bless you? Life not supposed to be like that. Make a decision this morning. I am a word of God to somebody that you are watching this morning. God is waiting for somebody. God is waiting for a decision. When you make the decision and Accept God as your God. Because there is only one God. Not two God, not three God. Only one God. And his name is Jehovah. Hallelujah. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Only one God. There are so many gods. Small g. There are so many gods. But the God of the Israelites, the God of the Bible, that's the God that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the God of any other book. I'm not talking about the God of any other faith. I'm talking about the God of the Israelites. I'm talking about the God of the Bible. I'm talking about the God of Abraham. I'm talking about the God of Noah. I'm talking about the God of Abraham. I'm talking about the God of Isaac and Jacob. I'm talking about the God of Israelites. I'm talking about the God of Peter and John. And I'm talking about the God of Paul and Silas. I'm talking about the God of our forefathers that they accept right into our nation in 1830 and also in 1835. And that is the God that I'm talking about. Hallelujah. 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 People are saying there is one God worshipped by different faith. I, I disagree with that. Hallelujah. My God is the real God, and his name is Jehovah, the God of the Bible. Hallelujah. The God of Genesis right up to Revelation. And that is the God that I'm talking about. There is only one God. Others are small g. Hallelujah. It's different, different doctrine, different faith. Hallelujah. That's why I don't believe in interfaith. I believe in interdenomination, but I don't believe in interfaith. Because my God is a jealous God. Jesus said, Hear, O Israel, there is only one God. There is only one God. When Jesus said there is only one God, that means he said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. There is no other God that Jesus is talking about. He's talking about the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He's talking about that God. Hallelujah. Because there are different books, there are different faiths in the world today. Hallelujah. And I want to challenge our life. Those of you that are watching this wonderful morning, 8 to 9 program, Power in the Word. Hallelujah. That's why Jabez cry out to the Lord. Which God? The God of his forefathers. The God of David. Hallelujah. The God of Judah. The God of Samson. The God of Enoch. And that is the God that we are talking about today. The Bible says, So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of Egyptians and to bring them up from the land to a good and large land, 
you will learn 